Did you know that dolphins are among the smartest animals on the planet? It's true! They might even be smarter than you! You've probably seen dolphins act in movies and perform tricks at theme parks, but their minds are capable of much, much more. Not only can they teach and learn, but they're also known to exhibit behavior that requires complex thought, like self-awareness, cooperation, and grief. Their advanced intellect makes them one of the most fascinating creatures on the planet, but it also kind of makes them one of the most infamous assholes in existence. They aren't always driven by instinct or survival, sometimes they just want to screw with people and other animals. They have even been known to pull off pranks like this one, among other more sinister things. Hi, I'm Jay and you're watching another episode of Bad Science, right here on Ed Pop. As always, we're bringing you education with a naughty twist and delivering it the only way I know how, badly. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn all kinds of awesome and terrible things about dolphins. And remember, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Ed Pop for a new episode of Bad Science every week, along with plenty of other amazing content. And now, let's dive in to give dolphins the bad science treatment. Long before they were the clever water dwellers we now know them as, dolphins actually walked the earth. Yes, on legs. Dolphins are believed to have evolved from the Pachycetus, a furry four-legged creature that existed 50 million years ago. The Pachycetus was just as comfortable on land as it was in the water, so scientists likened them to the hippos of today, although they were more like wolves. If their evolution had progressed differently, we might have even kept them as pets. But then again, we might have been their pets as well. Today, dolphins as a whole belong to the cetacea classification, which groups them with other aquatic mammals like whales and porpoises. All of these creatures have waterproof, rubbery skin, and a similar body shape with flippers on each side, powerful tails that flatten into flukes, and a blowhole on the top of their head, which are used for breathing and nothing else. Pervert! Cetaceans also have a layer of fat under their skin that keeps them warm in cold water. But don't mention it to them. They're sensitive about their blubber. How would you like it if somebody made you aware of your extra fats? While we are most familiar with creatures of the Delphinidae family, which live in saltwater, there are also freshwater dolphins of the Platanistidae and the Inidae families. It's easy to tell these different kinds of dolphins apart because, one, they live in completely different bodies of water, duh, and, well, the river dolphins look like mutants. Science experiments gone wrong. Freakazoids. Just take a look at the bottlenose dolphin for comparison. They have a silly smile, an adorable underbite, and a normal looking head. I'd hate to stumble across that. The thing looks like the spawn of Satan. Despite their stomach turning appearance, there are only six species of freshwater dolphin left, and all of them are endangered. Some of them are even on the verge of being extinct. And it's not because they give both children and adults nightmares with their horrible faces, but because of how humans are contaminating their habitats and ruining their food supplies. So the least we can do for these river gremlins is be nice to them, or at least try to be. Now enough about those weirdos, let's talk about the assholes of the ocean. There are only 40 species of dolphin that still exist in the world, and most of them are oceanic dolphins. This explains why we associate dolphins with the ocean so much, despite their endangered freshwater cousins. But it doesn't explain why some dolphins are hiding their true nature. Like spies undercover, a few of the crazy intelligent and occasionally monstrous creatures of the Delphinidae family are known by another name, whales. For instance, the killer whale, also known as the orca, is technically a dolphin, as is the pilot whale. Those creatures are fascinating in their own right and deserve a closer look but maybe we'll talk about them in another video. Whether we're talking about a dolphin that's a dolphin or a whale that's a dolphin, they all have a few things in common. First, their incredible intellect. Yes, I mentioned it before and I hate to harp on it, but this is important. In the entire animal kingdom, dolphins are the only creatures that have a brain to body mass that is similar to humans. Hey, wait! Now's the time. Subscribe to the channel to be entertained while learning. It's free! Scientists call this the encephalization quotient. One study conducted by Lori Marino, an expert in the realm of whale and dolphin studies, concluded that dolphin brains are oversized. Depending on the species, their brains are definitely bigger than yours. This discovery has been used to explain dolphins' extreme mental abilities and self-awareness, which rivals that of humans and apes. If dolphins ever figure out how to walk on land again, we're screwed. Well, you're screwed. I run pretty fast. 
Our intelligent friends use their megamind brains to engage in all kinds of activities, and at least some of them are related to their survival. Dolphins travel in groups or families called pods, which act strikingly similar to human families. Adult dolphins within a pod teach the younger dolphins survival techniques and even how to use tools. The Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphins of Australia have been observed teaching younglings an act called sponging, in which dolphins pick up sea sponges from the ocean floor and use the squishy pillows to protect their beaks from damage while they poke around rocks and coral to flush out food. Pfft, what were you doing as a kid? Picking your nose? Wetting the bed? While dolphins don't speak words like we do, they do have a system of communication. They produce whistles, clicks, and other sounds to talk to each other in addition to nonverbal communication such as touching. Thanks to the structure of their skulls and a unique organ called the melon, dolphins are also capable of echolocation, which they use in murky waters to hunt and find their way around. Fun fact, the process of a calf or baby dolphin learning to speak is strikingly similar to how humans learn to speak. They babble as they learn the language from the people around them, and by 20 months, they're able to communicate properly. They can echolocate much sooner than that, about two weeks after they're born. When a member of a pod is sick or injured, dolphins have been studied to carry them up to the surface so they can breathe, a touching display of family solidarity. But that's not all. Dolphins have also helped beings outside of their species, even humans. Take a look at Moko, the bottlenose dolphin, who led two pygmy sperm whales out of a sandbar they were trapped in. And yet, for all of their intelligence, innovation, and kindness, dolphins also have a mean streak. These devious creatures are known to be, well, particularly horny. When mating season rolls around, gangs of male dolphins form and surround singular female dolphins, torturing and forcing them to do the deed one at a time, sometimes for entire weeks. As if that's not horrifying enough, a dolphin in heat will settle for just about anything, including a human who happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Actress Demi Moore reportedly found herself in such a situation in the early 2000s, and many other humans have suffered a similar uncomfortable fate. Getting eaten by a shark isn't enough to scare you away from the ocean. How about being assaulted by a dolphin? I'll stay on the beach where it's nice and dry. Thank you very much. Humans know how to let off steam when things get rough, and dolphins have also learned a thing or two over time. For instance, male dolphins wrap live eels around their appendages for pleasure, and female dolphins rub their nethers on various objects found on the ocean floor. Aside from their sexual proclivities, dolphins have been known to injure and even kill babies of other species, as well as their own. In cases where it's their own species, the purpose is to get the mother dolphin to mate again, as she won't mate while she has a calf. However, and perhaps even worse, Scientists speculate that they kill other infants of other species for no reason, or perhaps even for fun. The Dolphin Research Center in Grassy Key, Florida has found that they have to protect the baby nurse sharks who wander into the dolphin area because they bat the small defenseless creatures back and forth like a volleyball. The sadistic psychopaths also have been caught on camera beating up baby porpoises and even using their powerful echolocation sounds to deliver violent blows to their internal organs that they can't recover from. As you can tell, dolphins aren't the cute and cuddly creatures most movies and TV shows make them out to be. They are capable of violence, and thanks to their remarkable intelligence, they should actually be scarier than sharks. However, they are still an important member of the animal kingdom. When many river dolphins are present in a single area, that usually marks a river system that is functioning, healthy, and thriving. Dolphins feed on other fish which keep populations in check. But more importantly, they eat sick and diseased fish which prevents those illnesses from spreading and infecting more fish, and eventually humans who eat them. So yes, we can appreciate dolphins for their beauty and contributions to their ecosystems. But like with any other animal, we also need to be cautious of them and treat them with respect. Thanks for watching Bad Science, and I'll see you in the next episode.